A tamari e te iwi huri no e te motu. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Um, it's your girl Sophronia here at 92.7 Arrow FM in Whakaori Ori Masterton, Weira Rapa Atuit. And um, it's a thrilling Thursday here in Masterton. And guess what, guess what? On Sunday, the students of Kahau Ite Ao e-commerce program graduated. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nearly 100 Indigenous e commerce entrepreneurs fulfilled the requirement to graduate. And during the 12 week period, we made nearly $700,000. Uh, money that will go towards feeding, clothing, Fano, investing in their future, and establishing foundations towards financial freedom. Uh, tino ranga tiratanga. Huro, huro. Okay, so I just want to do a big shout out to Mr. Travis O'Keefe, Kay Marie, Manu, and the team from Kahao Ite Ao for the work that they do for to help Indigenous people, fam, to help Indigenous families, Indigenous people um, achieve their financial goals through teaching them e-commerce literacy. And for those who want to be a part of the movement, um, there will be a new intake. And later today, I'll share the link to Purple Platform so you can um, put your name on the waitlist. Who is this program for? Do you want to learn how to make money online? Do you want to create a pass passive income? Do you have a service or product that you want to start selling online? If you answered yes, then this is for you. Um, from my personal experience, just know it is an intensive program. <coughs> so be prepared. So what that means is be prepared to work, to learn, to be pushed outside of your comfort zone and and stand in your light and know this, there is no failure just lessons learnt. Okay, so this morning we have an, a guest, an alumni of the Kahau I Te Ao e-commerce program. Her name is Rawinia McGregor. She is from Ruatoria, another Ngati in Te Whare. And she is also known as Queen Laini. Uh, she is the founder of Chief Empire Clothing Line, and I'm going to be bringing her in right now. <coughs> morena, Morena Bravunia. Morena, my bro. Morena, father. <laughs> What time is it there? What time is it there? And um, you're in Melbourne, aren't you? Yep, three minutes past seven, my bro. Three. And, uh, let me just tell you, I had my alarm clock set for quarter past six, ready to do my hair and all that jazz. And then I tried to uh, transfer, you know, to do the um, top, the top up, the data top up. It wouldn't work, so I had to run down the street manually do it. Now I'm sweating, and it's like ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm loving all your gear. I'm loving all so funny that are watching um the the mask and the top that um Rawinia is wearing. So she she's the creator and and later we're gonna talk a lot more about her um her business and chief empire, but loving the gear's sister. Um so we, I just wanted to wanted to bring you in because I think that you have a, a really incredible story and I know that we talked yesterday and so let's start there. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Rawinia, your backstory. Who are you? Where are you? from and yep okay um so i was born in uh east melbourne 1978 <laughs> i'm 12 years old no i'm joking <laughs> um my dad um resided in um australia oh in the early 70s and uh he came from uh well he was born in ruatoria but um then my grandparents uh, my grandpa built um their homestead in uh Titoki street in gisborne so um that was the last um whanau home and um came to Australia. I was raised in St Kilda, which is quite a touristy area now, but, um, you know, back in the days, you know, I had the back, the beach as my backyard and Luna Park as my front yard. It was, uh, it was some good stomping grounds to grow up on. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, um, kids, yep. Um, 
bit more about myself. Um, how yeah. many tamariki? How many tamariki do you have? Children? Two? Three, two? Yeah, yeah. Twenty-one and almost seventeen. Attitude and a half. Uh. And one <laughs> six foot seven. Is he? Is he six foot seven? One of your boys? Yeah, yeah, six foot seven. And my daughter's six foot seven by her waha. <laughs> But they're good kids. They're good kids. Um, so yeah, my um, just with my clothing brands and everything like that, I just thought, you know, because you know, as as we're growing, you know, we hang around the wrong crowds, or you know, we do a lot of things that we think's good for us, but actually isn't, you know. And it takes us a long time to, you know, sort of like realize that. And um, you know, so I just uh, with COVID and everything as well in um 2020, um, I think it was probably a month before I launched um. I had a dream and I thought, you know, when I woke up, because, you know, I always pull some treasures out of my dreams and I just get on with it and get it done. So, um, yeah, I had a dream um, one night and uh, I think, you know, the next day I sort of like woke up and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. But in my dream, it all had everything to do with my business, what for, you know, and all that sort of jazz. And, um, you know, to be honest, I was just sick of waking up with no money and not being able to do anything and, you know, mm. well, you know, just mm. can't do things with my kids and this and that. Just because, you know, the alcohol, the drugs, and I thought something's got to give, you know, mm -hmm. something's got to give. So I was I was pretty wrapped that that dream came in. And, um, you know, I look at COVID as a blessing also, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I knew what I was, I knew what I needed, but I didn't know what I was doing. So mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it took about, I'm going to say, a year and a half of, um, you know, learning and learning and just, you know, on how to um, go about it because, you know, <laughs> I don't like instructions. I don't like researching and this and that and rah, rah, rah. So um, I pretty much had all my gears that I needed within four weeks. And um, my designs I'd done myself, um, which I was really wrapped. And um, I had a I had a, a friend that was helping me and um, it was pretty frustrating, you know, because I'm trying to tell him, you know, pull this from my head to get him to understand it so we can design it. And just some of the things he was coming back with, I'm like, bro, no. Mm. <laughs> mm. So, um, yeah, so I launched um, the 27th of July, 2020. And um, I swear to God, bro, like those first three days, I didn't sleep. I absolutely did not sleep. And I think I actually put a hole in one of my walls from walking into it. Wow. You know, it was just it was hard work, you know. And I still didn't know what I was doing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but I, I just, just knew that you have to just take the orders, get it done and get it out. So Yeah. I just want to touch on a few things that you've you've talked about. So the first thing, um, so you talked a little bit about your, you know, like alcohol and drugs and, and you knew yourself that you wanted something different. And then yes. you had this yeah. moi moya, the stream, and I think that um, I've read different and, and listened to different uh, entrepreneurs' stories, and some of them talk about dreams. I had a dream. I had a dream. That's where my business idea come from. And the same with you. You had this dream, yep. and um, then you launched on in 2020 your business. You had an idea. Um, and you're right in terms of the work that goes into setting up a business and launching. <laughs> it is huge. It is huge. Um, but I wonder, can you talk a little bit more about, so when you when you had your moi moya, your dream, and did you, was was it also the name? Where did the name come from? And did you know, oh, I want it, because I know Chief Empire is about bringing people together and making them yeah. stand, you know, be the chief that we're, or the leader that we're meant to be. Did that come yes. as well? Or did that take time for you to kind of realise this is part of it? Um, the, the, the actual name was sort of like the last kind of thing, um, but, you know, my whole design and everything um, is from my grandmother, you know, because we're both Leos and, you know, now I've, you know, that I've got the female version of Lion Kingy. So um, my grandma's maiden name is Kingy and, you know, even though I wasn't raised around her, I still spent time with her, you know, and on the phone and my mocha, my na-na-na-na. But, you know, I, I, you know and uh, she's 
I went to New Zealand in 2010 when I came back. Well, actually, when I was still there, she came and saw me, only because I invited her, apparently. But um, it was like, oh. <laughs> and then I, I found out that she came to Australia and she was like a protective cape over me. So um, she used to do a lot of weird things in my household, but um, I knew it was her. So um, <laughs> but she's always been a big part of my life um, in the afterlife. Mm. Um, you know what I mean? Mm, so, um, absolutely. Once I um, got my design together, I actually cried. <laughs> I cried. It was like, you know, and, and that never really happens to me. But um, I knew there was going to be a lot of hard work. I knew there was going to be blood, blood, sweat and tears. And I knew everything wasn't going to be rosy. But um, <laughs> so I cried. And I knew that, you know, it doesn't matter if it's today, tomorrow, two years, five years, ten years. I'm going to make it. Yeah. That's yep. what that's what my designs were telling me. Yeah. You know, and I cried to my kids and... <laughs> I swear to God, they thought I was instantly rich and like, oh, what are we going to do, Mum? Where are we going to go? What are you going to buy me? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, and I, I just want to touch on 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 um, going back to the your your um, business name and because um, you're telling a story, you're telling sorry, a story. Yeah. So hey. Sorry, my bro. Chief no, 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 no. Was actually, yeah, yeah. Was going to be. Um, Chief Customs, oh. believe it or not. And then um, one of my best mates, she sort of like rang me up and she's like, hey, she goes, I hope you haven't registered that name yet. And I said, no, I looked it up, it's available. But she goes, no, 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 she goes, Chief Empire. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so it all just fitted real nice. It all yeah. came into, oh, everything aligned, yeah, the name yeah. and um, yeah. But but what I was meaning was that you know like in our brands when we're business people there's always a meaning you know we don't just um, choose a name Chief Empire your brand your even your logo that you know I your your logo for me is very distinctive your kākahu your clothing is very distinctive and then knowing the reason you know Leo you and your nanny a Leo and it gives it this added you know like importance it gives it just like uh like real fucker new year celebration of you and yeah. your nanny yeah, yeah and that yeah. And, and i so i think that's a very powerful part of being an entrepreneur and telling our story yeah 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 absolutely bro absolutely so um so you set up you um chose the name registered your name and then um how did you what are some of the steps that you done to actually uh start getting your you know your creations out into out to all into the world what did what did you do um it was just facebook my bro i didn't even have a website so i was just facebook taking orders and then you know getting addresses and then you know just doing the straight um bank transfer i don't think i had a website for the first two months <laughs> Um, but I did write in here, this was my first, you know, my first diary. So you can't see it, but, um, I'll just show you. This was just my little, um, my notes that I wrote down just on how I think it, how business should be run. And, uh, yeah, so I just went by that and, um, yeah, I just, uh, got all my equipment. Um, you know, there's so much to it as well, my mm-hmm. bro, like, you know, you've got to get you know, you've got scalpels and you've got the weeding mats and you've got, you know, um, just everything, the vinyl. Um, and then there's the whole trial and error of testing everything and making sure it's all up to scratch and it all, you know. So, yeah, it took quite a few months there to correct it and get it right. Yeah. But, um, I'm still learning every day. Every day I'm still learning. Um, but, yeah, it's it's been hard. <laughs> been hard on my own you know like just trying to get it all done and all that but um I love what I do and that's why I get up and that's why I keep going because I absolutely love what I do yeah yeah and you know one of the things that I love is is your videos when you're actually going through each of the stages of creating uh you know whether it's a jersey or a t-shirt I love that, and and um, as you mentioned, there's a there's a lot in it. There's a lot that's yeah. entailed. So, if there far no listening that are thinking about potentially 
uh, setting up a clothing line? What are some of the things that you would tell? What are some of the first things that they have to do? Research your materials and yep. know your fabrics. <laughs> so that's one of the that's one of the very first things. So research, yeah, yeah. research your materials, know the fabric. So that's the fabric that you're putting. Yeah, yeah. Because, putting the, um, because when you do the, the heat transfer, there's a lot of materials that don't like heat. So, you know, you're going to have ones that will stick, but then you wash it a couple of times and then it starts coming off or, you know, so it's just like, so I always, always, Press my my gears. I'm always the first one to wear them and wash them. Make sure it's all tested right and all that sort of um, jazz. But um, yeah, and just um, just find some really good suppliers that you know that that know your worth and know your business and what's you know about. And so they're not going to muck you about, you know. So um, I've still got my same suppliers till today, and um, oh. They mark up every now and again, and I get home, I think I've got a white T-shirt, but no, it's a singlet, and I'm like, oh, I don't. <laughs> so it's backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, because they don't really answer their phones, so that makes it hard for me. And because I'm on I'm on, I'm on foot all the time, i got to walk 11Ks, you know, to get to get my merch. But, um, <laughs> wow, wow. But, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> so Farmer will ring ring you or Facebook you and say, hey, Rawania, I want a juicy, I want my, and I want my name. Is it, does yeah, ev- yeah. I everything? Yeah, uh, custom design. Custom I designs. Custom designs, you know, if someone's got a design and, you know, whether it's copyright or not, just throw it my way and I'll tweak it and copy and pimp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, but, yeah, always um, hold the tightest line with my um, with my uh, customers and, um you know, that's why I do my videos, just to, um, you know, and I'll tag tag the person whose merch it is in the video, just like, oh, wow, or, you know, whatever it is, and it, you know, we can correct it or, you know, something like that. But, um, yeah, I, I haven't had any um, any uh, unhappy customers, that's yeah. for sure. So I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm proud about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and one of the key things that I'm hearing you talk about is, you know, that quality assurance. You, you mentioned how you made sure – that it's it's not the you know like the lettering is not going to come off you know and i think that's a real yeah. key thing about being an entrepreneur is yes, you know yes, that quality yeah. insure um quality assurance and ensuring that what we're creating it's really good quality yeah yeah i'd like to think i'm up there with culture kings not came up my bro <laughs> <laughs> So Rawania, how did you learn about Kahawi Te Ao? So Kahawi. My uncle, my uncle, Wananga Beach. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. So yeah, because you know he was on my Facebook and he was you know following my um my group Chief Empire and um I guess when it you know the time arose I I saw his um one of his videos and it was live but it wasn't live at that time but I thought oh what's uncle up to so I was just you know having a look and I'm like. Okay, well, this is a whole lot of jargon that I don't understand. Mm, <laughs> mm, mm-hmm. Then my uncle sort of like messaged me, um, you know, after, afterwards because I commented on the uh, on the actual on his video. Next minute, he's come over, he's jumped on it, and he's get on it. You know, be good for you and Chief Empire. So I'm like, oh, all right, I'm cool. And I'm like, first, I'm like, oh god, because I didn't know what was involved, eh? Because I was just fresh out of the womb. I just, you know, <laughs> we're talking different languages, so. I'm just so proud that I made it, bro. Absolutely. I really am. Because, you know, uh, high school dropout and, you know, I don't know. Um, well, my first job when I was 15 and, um, you know, just, uh, I, and I know I always wanted to work for myself, mm-hmm. um, but I just had to um, go through that stage of, you know, always helping other people and, you know, raising them up and you know helping them with their business and getting paid peanuts and you know Mm. because you know all for the love you know i'm not about money i just if i see someone needs a hand i'll help them out 100 percent. if i've got five dollars and you need three dollars i'm going to give you five (laughs) dollars yeah 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 (laughs) you know so i think that's one of the things that um that i a key thing that Travis always talks about, um, you know, on our Sunday Zooms and he'd always talk about, um, you know, like our time 
and investing in ourselves, which yeah. means sometimes that we have to say no to far no or to other things yeah. that we're involved in. And yes. and that's about us honoring our dream. You know, you're honoring your dream, even though, yeah. you know, and in the future, from you honoring your dream, there's an opportunity potentially for you to be hiring whānau. So that's how you'll be giving back. But right now, yeah. this is about you building a eh? building and growing. And yes. I think that's yep. that's one of the key things that I've taken, one of the many, many gems that Travis has shared with us. So yes. I also want to talk about something you mentioned, jargon. And I know when you know when we started Kahawi Te Ao, and even Travis talked about how when he was, you know, learning about e-commerce. And for those who know, um, I've talked about Travis a lot. He, he's Rawini and I, he's our kayako, he's our mentor, he is the CEO oh, of... <laughs> and, oh, um, <laughs> and um, but he's, he's an, you know, a serial entrepreneur and um, he even mentioned that going into the e-commerce side of things and learning about, about e-commerce, there was all this jargon. And you're so right, Rawini. I was like thinking, what the heck is a VSL? I don't know. And what I loved about Kahau i Te Ao is that Travis broke it down, made it really simple and easy to understand, gave examples and yeah. you know, and so that, and that's one of the things that I love about Kaho Iteau is that it is, you know, it's our people speaking to us the way that we understand, and it, that's not because we're not as an intelligent. It's just that we 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 learn a different way, and we, you know, and um, yeah. So, what were um, for you? What are the Two biggest things that have you've learned from Kahau Ite Ao as a, as a for from the entrepreneur side and then from the personal side. So two things as a businesswoman and then two things personally that things that you learned about yourself. Okay, um, first off, I'm going to say um, I love that Kahau allow you to be yourself <laughs> first and foremost. <laughs> um. Yeah, and just um, just know your worth, and and who you are, and what you're doing, and don't be afraid to just throw it out there, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, in a nutshell, that'd have to be my biggest takes from um from Carhal. Yeah, I think. Um, and sorry, what was the other one, bro? My personal. And then um, yes, yeah, so like uh, something from your. Uh, from a business side of things so were there things that you're doing differently with your business so in terms of marketing are there things that you're you know that you've learned from kahawi te ao that you've applied I'm learning to, um, I'm learning to shorten my videos <laughs> I'm starting to shorten my videos by like 30 seconds and they're probably going wow oh, you took your time <laughs> Um, short and snappy, eh? And people like will watch yeah. it the whole way through. You get your point across, and it's like, yeah, cool. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm not doing the whole tiki tours. Though I do take tiki for a tours every day. I'm just not doing that so much, and you know, just <laughs> because you know, I think too, when you upload so much, you know, bang, 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 and you look at your videos, and it's like, oh, you got a few views there, and you go down, it's like. You've got no views there. What do you mean? That's my best video. Why isn't there any reactions of someone laughing or something like that? And I'm thinking, because your uploads, ping, 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 ping. So, um, yeah, just to pull back a bit on uh, throwing everything out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's a really good point. That's a really good point. So what I'm hearing you say is short videos. Um, yeah. But it's but I but I also think that so, and I've done this too. I've since I've created something, spent lots of time on it, put it out there. Hasn't got many, you know, like much reaction. And then other things that I've just randomly put together, it's like got hundreds of likes and people are oh, sharing yeah. it. And so it's about my you God. learn, they eh? you I, learn. Uh, I know. Can I just say that, like on my Facebook um, business page. Bro, I took a photo. You might know the photo. I took a photo of just um, coloured stock that I found in a box. It was a pretty big box, but I pulled it out and I've just taken a photo of the stock in the box, my bro. 
Next minute, I'm getting messages from a business suite saying I'm doing a boost this because, you know, it's been your best post by 95%. And I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> no. But anyway, <laughs> so I take from it, you know, that um, uh, just a photo will get you more views than a video. It's like, oh, all right. Jeez. But also still try and, you know, do my own videos of just being an egg or whatever it is, the triplets, just so people can get a um, feel of who I am, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that my logo and my brand matches up with the person I am and it's like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I think. And so, so just what you're saying is, you know, so it can be the short videos, um, experimenting, you, you know, you kind of are gauging what people like. But also, people are getting to know you. Hey, they get to know you, and and um, and that goes back to your comment that you made about you know during Kahawi Te Ao, you just felt that you know being you was enough, and that's you know and and well, I me think, and everyone. <laughs> I, yeah, and I I think of the that when we done the belief changes, and that came through so strongly. And um, I think it was especially Rachel Patero, and um, she talked about oh, being indig well. and being indigenous, being yeah, indigenous, right. and and that alone that is needed in in this whole you know this global entrepreneur space, and all we have to be is ourselves. Yeah, it's powerful, 100 powerful. Right. Like Rachel's, Rachel's um, corridor, oh my God, you can see from my video, bro, how excited I was because I actually felt that universal tap in with her and it's like, ooh, but I absolutely loved it. And I don't even, I was just, because I was so excited, you know, I was actually tearing up and I'm like, oh my God, I loved it. So yeah, I got that video done, but anyway. <laughs> and so for you, what was some of the, like, I know that there'll be, there's Fano who listen to um, my radio program, and they're actually interested in Kahawitel. What were some of the the, sh the struggles that you had, and what are some of the maybe that advice for Fano to get some support around them? Yeah. What? But what would that be? What What, what were some of the hardest things, and what support do you think Fano need to have? Um. Ooh, you've got to have an iron chest for a start. <laughs> Um, and your mindset growth mm. in check, 100%. Um, first and foremost, just love what you're doing. If, if you're doing anything and just try and go into car hall with a product or a service mm. so it doesn't all, you know, yeah, boil yeah. up and you know, the next minute's like, bang. Because we've had, you know, we've had a couple in our, in our, in our team that, um, from Katahi Tanga that um, didn't have any um, products or services. And, you know, I'm blown away. I praise them so much because, you know, they graduated. So, mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I'd actually, yeah, just um, try and come into it with a, with a product or, or a um, service already. Um, oh, bro, I didn't even build any of my web pages, like my um, website. So um, the hardest thing for me was <laughs> building your one-page store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, sorry, um, your Shopify store. Because I already had the uh, one-page uh, store and all that sort of stuff, but it was, um, yeah, just doing that. And, um, you know, my devices weren't the best. Yeah, make sure you've got some good devices too, Farno. Mm, <laughs> mm. Um, but, yeah, I just the, the absolute love, support, the dedication, the drive, the passion of just everyone to do with Kaho. Um, the support it was just phenomenal, my bro. Yeah. Um, my bro Tans, you know. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. She's a legend. This yeah. is good for this is good for Carhol books. That when I tell you now, yeah. If you're listening, my bro, you know. Yeah, that's our sister uh, Tans Ai or uh, Tiki Tiki, as I know. we grew up together, so I know her from yeah, way back. No, yeah, yeah. No, she's incredible. Yeah, she's incredible. So yeah, we've, uh, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be collaborating, and you know, everything's still in the works at the moment. But um, she's just moved home again, so um, once she unpacks her gears and you know gets it all set up, then we'll you know we'll have our corridor on mahi and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, mm. so excited. Mm. So just want to touch on the, the the key points that you've mentioned. So if you're thinking about kahawi te ao, yet cons make sure it, it is easier if you come in with a service or a 
a product already. I was one that didn't, you know, and I know oh. the extra work that I had to do. And then, yeah, um, yeah to actually uh, it, it build that alongside of doing everything in the Kahawi Te Ao program. And I saw my friends that yeah. um, came in that already had a, um, a product or a service and, um, you know, and just saw the, I suppose, the less amount of stress. They, there was lots less stress for them. <laughs> but yeah, I do acknowledge yeah, our yeah. whānau that came in, like me, didn't have anything, uh, no service, no no product, and, and graduated because it, it was a lot of work. Um, yeah, that's something new, bro. <laughs> yeah, and then... Um, yeah, and then it's it's it is about really trying. So I, as as the fun I know for me, I came in. I've um, been doing uh, my Alzheimer's awareness co-papa, and but my I I actually came into Kahau and I wanted to do coaching, and um, mm. and um, but I couldn't find my niche. And I think it was about you know Travis always talks about your customer. Who is your customer? Who is your customer? And that's probably one of the most important things, knowing your customer, knowing their pain points, and then knowing that your service is going to help address their pain points. And um, and it, so it wasn't kind of until I launched my product, a great, you know, I'd like met all the criteria, and then I launched my, my coaching. And you are one of my, you know, one of my wahine that was in my coaching program. And that's I loved it. And I'm just going to be building, I'm going to be launching it again. But from the, you know, the experience with you and my wahine, my program just taught me so much. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I love those spaces, bro. I absolutely love those spaces. I'm sorry I didn't make it on Monday. He's like my son and he just eats so much. And it's like, oh, I have to go home. <laughs> but I think uh, I just wanted to touch on one more thing that you said the one-page Shopify store. Oh my goodness! I think that got lots of us, and um, <laughs> yeah, and you are right. Tans. Um, I think there was also shells. So the shells rongo, tans. Yeah. Um, you know they were always there, uh, wanting to help. Yeah. And then because I was one yeah. part of uh, Sister B's group. Who were you? Were you yeah. with Jody or Marie? No, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, 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 and they're incredible, Asus. You know, just in terms of the oh. support. Oh, you know, like when I first met um, Ainsley on our first um, our call session, <laughs> I thought I was in the wrong space, but um, because <laughs> she was just laughing so much, and didn't get to answer my question. But um, <laughs> oh, she knows I love her, and it just felt like I'd known her forever. You know, it feels like I've known her a lifetime. You know. Um, but yeah, no, nah, she's just awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better team leader, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I know we all say that about our own team leader because we didn't have the chance of having someone different to di differentiate. But um, <laughs> yeah. I just love her. She's still jazz. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And um, and you and like, I love what you said that there is the support there, and um, if you if you really want it, um, it is there. I know some of my friends weren't able to. Because of different things and real valid reasons, you know, and yeah. and, yeah. and it wasn't for them right now. And I think um, if you're listening and you're considering kahawi te ao, um, really weigh up what is on your plate right now. Um, you know, like if you've got too much, you you have to maybe let go of things because you do need time. You need time yeah. and space to focus. What are some of the other things yeah. that you would recommend, sis? for Fano that are considering the Kahawi Te Ao program? Well, to be quite honest, I'm, I'm actually um, spewing that I didn't get onto them in 2020 because, you know, I had my uh, property settlement and all that sort of jazz, so it would have been the perfect time for me to do it right at my starting point um, of my business. Um, but um, what else? Um, yeah, just, the, I just do it, Fano. yeah. I, I just, yeah, because, you know, now that I know about Carhal, <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I actually just want to ask if I can come in on the next <laughs> the next intake and just I'll sit there in the back nice and quiet and just, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, just um, 
more than anything, bro, you've just got to have, you know, the right mindset, bro, mm. to know where your heart's at mm. and know mm. what you want, you know, because even though a lot of us um, don't know, you know, what we want, we actually know what we don't want. So, um, yeah, just look where you're at in your stage of life and, you know, how desperate or, you know, you are to actually get something going and, um, yeah, just get your yourself in check, Mm. get yourself in check you know if there's marking you have to do on yourself get it done don't mm. don't procrastinate because mm. you know what that's when the that's when the gate gets shut and you get left behind so mm. um yeah i want to just if i think something boom i'm up and doing it and i don't even think about the consequences it's like oh well i shouldn't have done that but um <laughs> i'm very spontaneous i'll just do it you know like <laughs> I think, there's, oh, yeah. I think there's some key things that you said in there. You might not know what you want, you know, like be clear about your business and things like that, but you know what you don't want. I think that's really yeah. profound. You know, 100% my want. Yeah. And so for, the, for you was that you wanted a, you know that you didn't want to live your life the way that you it was going. And this is even for me, that you wanted a different life where there yes. was maybe financial independence, extra money coming in, getting off Struggle Street, all of those things. Yeah. Everything, bro. Yeah. 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 So I think that that's a um, – and, and just doing it. And, some t and I – you know, on Sunday, one of the things that Nicola talked about was, you know, like putting everything um, into action, everything that we've learned into action – and um, yes. and I think that that it's when we're overthinking, doubting, um, usually because of fear, fear of failure. And you've you've talked heaps about mindset, and I think that that yeah. goes back to that mindset. Yeah, hey, hey. yeah. If I was still, if I was still in that mindset that I was in, um, I'm going to say, start of twenty twenty. Um, yeah, just be. Um, it wouldn't have happened, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I was I was always living like that, you know. It's all party time, you know, when when it's all good. But then you go lay down, and then you start thinking, and exactly what you're saying, my bro, it all just comes flooding, and it's like, and then I start having those corny doors with myself, you know, mm. uppercut, 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 mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. you know. Mm. But I just I love now that everything that I make. Obviously, it goes straight back into my business, so, you know, I'm still not making anything, but <laughs> I'm still running, and it's still getting done, and I'm at my happiest, yeah. you know? My yeah. heart is full, my cup's full, I'm full. <laughs> yeah. I just love it. Yeah. I love my sleep, I love my food, I just, I love it, I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I just wanted to touch on, um, you know, like a mindset again, because I think that's a real key thing. It's And like like you said, uh, the, so this goes to mindset, but it also goes to one thing that you talked about. Everything that you're making, it goes back into the business. And there's some of our whānau that I know that have launched something and it's just gone off the chain, you know, like hundred, th hundreds of thousands and yes. um, they've had incredible okay. products. And then there's others like myself um, where it's just been slow and steady. And whatever it is for you, just don't give up. Don't give up. If no. It's, yay, eh? Yeah, yeah. The way I see it is if you know, like, find yourself, you know, find yourself. Once you find yourself, follow you, mm. you know, follow you. Be staunch with that dapper in your step, and you watch they'll start following you. Yeah, you know they'll start following you. And um, I mean, Chief Empire is what 17, 18 months uh, running now, and just in my group, um, my Facebook um, Chief Empire group, I'm only at nine hundred and eighty-five, bro. So it's been that long on just trying to build, and then you know some come and go, come and go, then they get others in, and it's like so. Yeah, that's the hardest thing, bro, trying yeah. to build your tribe and, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the saddest thing is working out who the true fans are from the ones that are just sitting there. I'm like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I think of Sunday and we had that guest speaker from Shopify come in. And I know yeah. that him and his wife uh, make a seven-figure entrepreneurs, online that's, entrepreneurs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Was it Jim? Martin. Oh, Martin. Martin. Was it Martin? Oh. You remember the, the the one from Shopify? But he what was yeah. really powerful about his cordial, he talked about, you know, like maybe that first year they didn't make much. 
they they made like May was like uh, and and now he's making seven figures and I so what I took yeah. away from that and what I'm hearing you say too is that you just got to keep going you just don't know when your big break is going to come but that's you know, right bro. Yay. Yay. yeah yeah and like someone asked me, um, someone asked me about twelve months ago if someone offered me ten million, would I sell Chief Empire to them? <laughs> like yes, no, <laughs> I <said> no, <laughs> I <said> no. <laughs> no way. Because if they see ten million worth in that, you know it's probably double that. And then why would I actually do that? No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no. Well, it's um, sister. It's been awesome speaking to you. Thank you for sharing your. Um, you welcome, bro. Thank you for having yeah, me on. I'm yeah. very, I feel very honored. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you for um, just, yeah, taking the time having me on to just try and, you know, promote Chief Empire Absolutely. and just push it out there a little bit more. I uh, say New Zealand are my biggest audience. So, so where can Fano get, uh, get in contact with you? What's the easiest way? Oh. Um, on your Facebook? Facebook, yeah. Yeah. I'll Chief all, Empire, you know, right? Empire, yeah, Chief Empire page, group, um, Shopify. Shopify, yep. Instagram. Yep. I actually need, bro, I actually need what I found out with TikTok. I need a 1,000 followers to actually go live. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. So, yeah, I'm about 500 short of. Oh, okay. So, listeners, if you're on TikTok, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> And what I'll what I'll do too, sis, is that I'll um, after today. So I'll share. I'll, I will share this um, so that people can listen to our court at all. But I'll also include your Facebook, uh, Shopify, and IG. I didn't realize you're on IG. Um, so I'll find yeah. your IG. I don't know what IG was not too long ago. I'm like, what the hell is IG? Oh, Instagram. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that if Fano want to uh, purchase, so you do personalised kākahu. Um, what's your most popular uh, a kākahu? Is it your T-shirt or your jersey? or uh, my hoodie. Your my hoodie. Hoodies. Yep. My wine pingy hoodie. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So if you want, Fano, if you're listening and you want a personalised, like with your own name, uh, hoodie, um, that has got the. Can you stand up, sis, so we can see your your design? Yep. So this is the Lion King, um, and Chief, so it's got Chief Empire, and yeah. yeah and I'll just. Sorry, and this is. Uh, so these are my two logos. Yep. Yep. Chief Empire. Chief and Empire. Lion King. So that'll be on the front. That'll be on the front, and then I do Chief Empire on the hood, yep. and then I do the line on the front or back. It's up to you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so there's two. Sorry, I'm getting these mixed up. So there's Lion King and uh, Lion, Lion King. <laughs> Lion King. <laughs> Lion King and Chief Empire. So I'll be sending yeah. that out to Fano. So if you want to get one of your uh, – some merch uh, made by the sister – um, you know, you can you can hit her up, hit her up about it. Um, thank you for today, sister. Really appreciate it. And thank you for um, having me, my yeah, yeah, and no doubt we'll be we'll see each other online again. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah, love yeah. you, bro. Yeah, love you too. Thank you for me. Yeah, you take and, uh, have a good day. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. So that was our sister, uh, Sister Rawiria from Ruatoria. She was coming in from Melbourne. She's lived in Melbourne all her life talking about Chief Empire. And I think if you if you go through that corridor, there's so many, you know, like gems that she shared um, about, you know, entrepreneurship. Some key things that came through for me is about mindset. She talks so much about mindset Um and about persistence, not giving up, and um, and just about uh, you know like online when you're when you're an, an e-commerce entrepreneur, you are selling things online, and what that does requires for you to you know build your followers, and and you don't actually have to have thousands and thousands of followers, and 
if you remember last year, I I talked about um, having your your you know your your tribe, knowing your tribe, and um, and this was something that Travis talked um, taught us was about ha- if you have um, true followers that are repeat customers that come back again and again and again, that can be as powerful. Uh, you know, more powerful or just as powerful as having like maybe a hundred thousand followers across social media. Um, and then, a, but a key thing is is about you know people getting to know you, getting to know your story. And and Rawania talked about her story, the story of Chief Empire and her moimoya, her dream, and where the whole vision for um, Chief Empire came from. And you know, and those are real powerful stories. And because our story is is us, it's about you know like your. Um, this is my vision. This is my contribution to the world. This is what I'm. I want to do to make a difference in the world for Rawinia. What I get from her is that Chief Empire is about, you know, um, encouraging people to be a chief, to be the, the great person that you know that they were born to be. And, um, and I think that is a powerful kaupapa, that is a beautiful kaupapa, especially when many of us haven't been, you know, like nurtured with that thinking, we haven't had those people to support us. And then, so there's this business here, Chief Empire, that encourages us, that supports us, that is, you know, trying to build us and to help us acknowledge who we are and who we've always been, and that's great. Um, yes, yeah, so I just want to thank the sister, Sister Rawania, if you're still listening, thank you for being with us, um, with me today. Um, I'm going to be back here again with another one of my whānau from the Kahoe Te Ao. I will let you know in a few days who that is. Um, but I, I just want to um, do another plug for the Kahoe Te Ao um, e-commerce program because I know that Travis and them are going to be uh, starting a new intake Um I would say that um, I, we were asked to talk about how Kahoe Te Ao has changed our lives. And um, for me, Kahoe, Kahoe Te Ao helped me get rid of it. Got, get rid of a lot of narratives, a lot of, lot of stories that I created. And these were, you know, had been formed by things that had happened in my childhood. And some of those narratives were that I wasn't good enough, that who am I to be an entrepreneur? I'm not an entrepreneur. Other people are, but I'm not. I'm not as good as those other people. And those are some of the, the beliefs that I had. And... Um, Travis and his, um, so I was able to to get some coaching with Travis. Um, it was a competition that they've they've they run um, competitions throughout the program, and you get to win. You know, sometimes it's coaching, group coaching, but just to have you know like a short period of time with Travis, it's invaluable and it's priceless. And um, I remember I'd done a coaching with him. There was men, Sister Dawn, who was on. Uh, I think last week, yeah, she was on with me last week, and I said something to to him. I can't remember what it is, but I remember this. This was his reply to me: "That's a limiting belief, and you have to get over that." And I stopped, and I said to him, um, "Took me a little." little bit of time to process what he had said what I had said first and foremost and then what he had said and then I said to him thank you Travis thank you for that and what that has helped me that but also the module in the program that talks about mindset and the you know the the belief changes the guest speakers that we had each week talking about mindset what that's taught me is the importance of me being aware of my thinking, but also rewriting the thinking. And I'm still getting there, and I'm still having to work on those every day because there are days where I wake up and I'm like, think, oh, I'm a fraud. And then, but then I still do the mahi, and I'm like, never mind, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to be a fraud and still do what I do. Um, and and I think that's a key thing is that we just keep going, we just keep going, and we um, you know there's a cordial that says you fake it till you make it, um, and I think you can do that. But some of the other things that I've some of the other tools that have helped me um, is reframing, um, it's scripting, and so some of the ladies know some of my um, women that I coach, um, which is all about mindset. 
um, and me sharing the things that I've learned through, you know, like my own NLP training, um, going with Huringa uh, Te Hininaro with Fai Leslie Nienia, my own studies. So my bachelor's degree is uh, actually social work and psychology. And, you know, and in that we learned a lot about the brain and the mind. And and so there were, these were things that I had learned and then it was about me actually putting them into practice. And um, But um, there are powerful ways that we can rewrite the narratives that we've you know like held on to held on to and sometimes that's as simple as um uh, these can be things such as affirmations meditation um, these can be things such as scripting which is when you, where you're actually writing your goal as if it's happened right now and what it, and um the theory is that that is scripting goes beyond goal setting so we have a goal we have a goal but scripting goes beyond that and it's because of the energy so everything is about energy you know we learn that from eastern philosophy everything is about energy and where our thoughts go that's where our energy goes and those are the things that I find will show up in your life and um, yeah but mindset mindset's a huge thing so um, and and it is a key thing for being an, an entrepreneur, and um, yeah, yeah, and I could just keep keep going on and on and on and about it. But um, that's that's us for today. Um, I'll be back next week. We will have another whānau from the um, Kahawi Te Ao e-commerce program with us, talking to us about their business and. Um, I'm just going to leave with this corridor. Um, if you've always done what you've, you know, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're always going to get the same. So what that means is that you've got to change things. You've got to be different. You've got to step out of the zone, your comfort zone, to get the things that you want and to get a different outcome. That's me for now. This is so from... Arrow FM 92.7 here in Foka Oriori Masterton Te Weirarapa signing out for today. <laughs>